Hi everybody, I'm Raymond Francis and today I want to talk about genetically modified soy and its relation to cancer. Now this is happening all over the world but one of the countries most affected by genetically engineered soy is Argentina. The population in Argentina is now being sickened by massive spraying of herbicides across the country's agricultural areas. In fact, 98% of Argentina's soybean production is now genetically modified, 98%. In the U.S., it's almost as bad, it's 91%. As a result, tons of glyphosate weed killer is being applied to these crops, poisoning the environment with catastrophic results. Almost 200 million liters of glyphosate, this is the active ingredient in, in, in products such as Roundup, are sprayed in Argentina annually. This is leading not only to illness among the population, but to widespread deforestation, as trees are among the victims of these herbicides. And in, it's just catastrophic. However, the worst effects are those affecting the Argentine population. Soy burgers are a staple of today's Argentinian diet, and children are consuming so much genetically engineered soy that they're developing breasts from the estrogenic effects. Meanwhile, studies indicate that the glyphosate that these crops are being sprayed with can cause cancer and birth deformities both of which are now occurring at increasing rates in areas where the spraying is done. Sterility and miscarriages are also increasing. Experts warn that in the next 10 to 15 years, the rates of cancer, infertility, and endocrine dysfunction could reach catastrophic levels in Argentina. But few people are listening. One of the most influential studies was conducted by one of Argentina's leading scientists, Andreas Carrasco. He's at the Argentine Ministry of Science. Dr. Carrasco investigated the health effects of glyphosate after hearing so many reports by desperate peasant uh, communities. Uh, these are agricultural workers who are suffering from exposure to toxic herbicides. Carrasco included, concluded, he did the study, and here's his conclusion. He concluded that glyphosate exposure can cause defects in the brain, the intestines, and the hearts. And these results that he did with animals can be applied to humans. Moreover, the amount of Roundup used on genetically engineered soy fields was as much as 1,500 times greater than the effects which created all of these terrible things in the laboratory animals. So Carrasco's and others, the work of others, point to the fact that in the public in Argentina is being subjected to massive biological experiment involving the effects of genetic manipulation of the food supply. So here we have the public in Argentina that is being subjected, but what about the public right here in America? 91% of our soy is genetically modified and being sprayed with these same herbicides. Genetically engineered food products have never been tested for safety. So the long-term effects are unknown. The warnings the science has provided demand a thorough investigation into just how much glyphosate human beings and animals can safely ingest. At present, no such investigation has taken place, and most regulatory agencies choose instead to rely on industry studies claiming that glyphosate is safe. This needs to change. Yeah. Most of the GMO crops in the world are grown right here in the United States and we and our children are eating these dangerous foods every day. The air, the water, the soil is being poisoned with glyphosate. So what do you need to do? 
Well, one thing that anybody can do is to stop eating any GMO food. That means no corn, no soy, no canola, because all these are now contaminated, and even the organic stuff is contaminated. Next, demand from your elected officials that the sale of GMO foods be stopped until their safety can be assured. At the very least, these genetically engineered foods need to be labeled so at least you know what you're eating. To learn more about genetically modified foods and how they affect your health, read my comprehensive book, Never Be Sick Again. You need to inform yourself, folks, because this is a threat to the health of you and your children and everyone in your community, and we need to start taking steps to address it. Thank you much for listening, and go out there and take some action. Stop eating GM foods.